Hello everyone, so in this video, I will be reviewing iOS and Swift, the complete iOS app development bootcamp from AngularU. So this course is basically designed to create a iOS app. Okay, so in this course, she will uh, teach you how to create iOS apps. Okay, so for creating the iOS app, the Swift programming language is required. Okay, and I will be reviewing this course based upon three sections okay so one thing is project if you want to create projects related to ios development in your resume so should you uh, purchase this course or not if you want a ios developer job so you should uh, purchase this course or not or if you want to become a freelancer in ios ios development so you should purchase this course or not okay so basically these are three sections okay so let I start. So first I want to show you some prerequisite. No programming experience is needed. It is mentioned here. Okay. A Mac computer. This is so important. If you want to learn iOS development, you should have a Mac computer running Mac OS. Okay. So these are main two prerequisite which you should have. Okay. So uh, first now I will come to the course. So uh, if you are purchasing the course, then I think you have some prior programming language experience swift uh, swift must not be your first programming language okay so if you know c++ java or any other programming language python is it it is completely fine okay why i'm saying this because swift is basically a language which which is used in the ios development okay and I think nowhere else. So if you have a good knowledge of any other programming language, then it will be easy for you to grasp the concepts of Swift. Okay, because because actually the Swift programming is uh, uh, taught very uh, beautifully. But I must say, if you are coming directly to the iOS development, please learn at least a programming language before this. Okay, that is also a prerequisite from my side. I must say. Okay, so now let us start with this course. So starting from the uh, iOS development Swift 5. Okay, Xcode, and this is okay. Then the Swift programming basics. This is ta uh, taught very well. So if you uh, if you know nothing about Swift language, then it is completely fine. From the basics, one thing which I loved this about course, from the basics, not only about the Android development, but things which we basically uh, did not use in our uh, sorry iOS development. That is that that is uh, that is. Uh, taught also in this course like inheritance and all things uh, which is covered here you can see uh, ios intermediate swift language advanced swift programming classes in uh, in inheritance advanced optionals so i like this thing very much because you should have a good knowledge of swift programming if you are if you want to create a good project or you want a ios developer job or freelancer okay so knowledge of swift programming languages must so okay for this perspective i am giving a tick to each section because swift programming language is taught very well in this course now i come to the some things uh, something so this section is done swift programming language is taught very well networking json parsing api and core location section so this is actually a 4 hour 17 minute section and it is taught very 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 well okay so no complaint with this this is a very beautiful section and you will get a good knowledge a intermediate knowledge of all these things and this section is really great you will be uh, you will be learning about the json decoding the parsing the data or apis all is taught very well okay so no complaint with this networking and api challenge this is a small section nothing like that then command line and terminal this is a basic thing swift gi git get version control so this is uh, this thing i think this is some common thing then yeah then this section is game okay so personally i want to say these two sections core ml and machine learning that this thing advanced core ml section and create ml building from own machine learning from model from scratch these three sections are the x vector of this course okay these sections are taught from basic to medium level but 
these sections are really really good and it will add worth to your projects or any other thing which you want to create if you want to show in your jobs then the sections are also very good okay so overall about this course the course is very fine and i cannot say anything anything which is wrong about this course means everything is looking very good in this course but now i will consider these these three sections projects ios developer job and free for the projects projects only purpose if you want to create projects and mention in your resume then this course is for you you can purchase this definitely fine best course for it okay if you want to become a ios developer uh, ios uh, if you want to create some ios development projects for your resume this course is perfect perfectly fine for you you will have a good knowledge of projects a hands-on experience on projects good knowledge of swift programming which is needed to mention in your resume okay completely fine for ios developer job listen carefully so if you want a ios developer job so you have to learn some advanced advanced concept of swift from external resources also from this course and from some external resources also if you want a job in ios development means some advanced topic which is not taught in this course okay so you have to grasp some advanced topic from the external resources okay if you want a ios developer job plus plus a very important point plus a additional thing which you will need is knowledge of data structures data structures is mandatory to have a job okay so these things you should cover from external resources right if you want to be a freelancer then i must say this course is very good for you this course is very good for you but 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 another condition you have to make three or four projects from your own before coming to the freelancing which contains a full thing like which is using the database which is using uh, apis which is using a beautiful front end back end all the things and a huge amount of data networking all the concepts so you must have create at least three to four projects before coming to freelance work if you are purchasing this course okay because no one can taught you that big projects that you have to create on your own someone can taught you the basic things and the concepts but you must make some big projects to come into freelancing okay like i will i will take a example of this local data persistent okay so this section is taught very well yeah but you have to think about how to use this database in your project yeah this section is taught very well but you must know your thinking where you can use this section to make your project very enhanced and good okay so these things you should have to do on your own before coming to freelancing for projects purpose this this course projects are enough okay for ios developer job projects are enough and advanced concept of swift plus data structure is required for freelancer work you must have complete three to four projects completely on on own dif different uh, which are different from this course okay so these are my views on this course okay otherwise uh, for ios development i think this course is best available on the udemy okay so this is all about my review on this course i hope your doubts must be get cleared about this course thank you for watching this video